Hey guys, it's me Tolha. So I recently came across this modern cabin online and I thought it would be cool to create a video tutorial on how to model it in Revit. In this video, I will walk you through the steps to recreate it in Revit. Now before we get started, I recommend checking out my advanced Revit modeling courses on learnrevitonline.com. And if you find this video helpful, consider supporting my work on Patreon to help me create new videos every week. Anyway, let's get started. So here I'm in Revit and first I'm going to create a new level. So let's go to the south elevation and select this level and press CS on the keyboard to create similar. I'm going to create a new level at 10 feet like so. Now let's go back to level 1 and I'm going to create a reference plane. Let's create one in the center and select this one and i will just call it reference plane one now we can go back to south elevation again and we can create a roof here and i'm going to use roof by extrusion to create this triangular uh, roof here so let's go here and select roof by extrusion from this drop down and this dialog box will pop up you just need to select reference plane one click ok ok again and uh, let's create a 30 feet line here which is going to be the width uh, of this cabin like so then i'm going to create a vertical line from the middle of this line until here and there will be another six feet more let's join this line here and create another one on this side and delete these lines we don't need them anymore and now i'm going to click finish and if you notice here we have this pointed edge uh, to fix it or, or to align it with this level we just need to change this rafter cut let's click here and select uh, to cut plumb from this drop down there we go now it's perfectly aligned uh, to this level here so once we created this we can just go back to level one and just make sure that the length of this is 30 feet if it's not you can change it from here extrusion end and now let's create an entrance here so i'm going to select wall and let's select generic six inch from this drop down and we want to use pick lines and give eight feet offset and change the location line to finish face exterior and let's pick this roof and on this side as well and let's change the offset to 20 feet and pick this edge and again i am going to change the offset to 15 feet and pick this wall and let's use trim and select these walls and select this as well and now let's go to 3d it's looking something like this let's delete this wall and i'm going to select this wall and click edit profile and go back to the south elevation and delete this profile and use pick lines and i will just create a new one uh, by picking these edges here and let's trim it tr and trim from here as well so we have created this profile let's click finish so i think we can just mirror this wall so let's delete this one and go back to level one and i will just select this one and press dm on the keyboard to create mirror from the middle of this wall like so perfect now we need to create an opening here on this roof we'll do that in a moment but first let's create uh, the floor let's go to level two and i'm going to create a floor here select floor and let's use pick lines and we'll create a four feet balcony here around these walls so let's trim it 
and on this side we, we don't know where exactly this roof uh, this floor joins with this uh, roof so we'll just randomly draw a line here and then just use 3r and then join these lines and let's go to 3d and select this line and then go to the front view and uh, you can see it's still selected we can just move it to the center of this roof like so let's click finish there we go let's join these two uh, floors so let's go to modify select join select this roof and then this floor there we go now we can copy this floor to the other level so let's select that copy to clipboard then paste it to level 3 click ok and i think we need to edit this uh, floor just click edit boundary use align tool al and just align these lines like so select this face and then this line and we'll repeat the same for this line as well just select this line go to the front view and just move it to the middle of this roof here like so so we have created something like this we got the floor here for this level as well as for this one now i think we can create the opening here on this roof if you notice it's uh, it's close from here so we want to create an opening on uh, this side first i'm going to isolate this roof just select that and press hi on the keyboard to isolate this roof now to create the opening here you can go to architecture and here we have the openings i'm going to select opening by face let's select this face here make sure we have selected the this face if i change the visual style to hidden line hl we can see the edges clearly so we want to select this face and go to left view and i think uh, we need to unhide the floors so we can see from where we need to create the opening so let's go here click this goggles icon and click reset temporary and then use pick lines and just pick this face of this wall here here as well and at the top as well pick the edge of this floor if i hover over the edge here it will highlight you just need to click and we can just select this line and go to front view and just move it down a little bit like so and then we can use tr and trim this line and here we can just uh, close this profile like so just click finish there we go if i isolate this roof we can see the opening here now let's undo and i'm going to create the floor here so let's go back to level one and select floor and i'm going to create a rectangle here like so let's click finish and we got our floor here as well now let's create the curtain walls so i'm going to go back to level one again and select wall and i'm going to select a curtain wall one from this drop down and i'm going to use pick lines and let's give six inch offset then pick the edge here like so now we can edit this curtain wall profile let's select that edit profile go to the south view and i'm just going to delete this one and use pick lines and just pick the edge the uh, edges of this roof and use 3r and trim these lines let's click finish and now i want to create uh, mullions here so for that we first need to add curtain grid let's add one here another one here and one at the top here and we will add another one here 
then i'm just going to select this one and make it 10 feet from this side and this one also 10 feet and this one should be six feet from the top perfect now to add the mullions we can select mullion from here i'm going to use this one and a half inch by two and a half inch rectangular and select all grid lines and just pick the grid lines there we go i go to 3d see it's looking something like this i think we should uh, attach this floor uh, to this curtain wall which we'll do in a moment first let's mirror this curtain wall so let's go back to level one and select this curtain wall and press dm and just mirror it from the middle of this wall here like so i think we are almost done with modeling this modern cabin we only need to create uh, the staircase here as well as we want to create slanted columns here so first let's create a spiral staircase here so i'm going to select stair from here and let's select spiral one and i'm going to change the width to two feet six inches and let's create a star, uh, spiral stair from here don't worry about the placement we'll move it later on once we uh, create this uh, staircase there we go now we can just select all and move it to the corner here let's click finish now we need to create an opening here on this floor for this staircase so let's select this floor edit boundary go to level 2 and we can use pick lines and just pick the edge of this staircase and the edge of this last step then we can pick this arc and i think we should just extend this a little bit and then use tr and just trim uh, this arc now we can just join this arc here and create a line create a straight line here like so and trim this line so we have created this let's click finish okay we have a small gap here so we can join that uh, using tr there we go we'll just select this stair and press hi to isolate stair and uh, this floor you can see perfectly attached uh, to this floor here now let's unhide all the elements and we want to edit this floor again because on this side we need to uh, just attach uh, this floor to the curtain wall here so let's select floor again click edit boundary go back to level 2 and we want to create from here just trim this on this side as well here we have a small gap so we can select this line and on this and this line as well and then we can just move them in the 3d view just select from here and just move it to the center of this roof there we go it's looking a lot better now now if you notice the glass is not exactly in the center of this mullion so to fix it we can tab select this uh, glass and go to edit type and just remove offset let's make it zero hit apply okay there we go now it's perfectly placed in the center now here we need to create a railing on level two so let's go back to level two and we want to create a railing on this side so let's select railing and use pick lines and i'm going to give three inch offset and pick this edge here and this curve you can see it's this profile is ex exactly in the center of the other railing now if i click finish you see 
it's now perfectly uh, matches with the other railing. We need to create another one here as well. Let's select railing from here. And I'm going to create a new profile from the middle, middle of this railing. Let's create an arc here. Delete this line. Hit finish. There we go. So it's looking something like this. You want you can just drag it a little bit here. And it should look perfect now. So we have created our staircase as well. Let's uh, uncheck uh, section box and now we only need to create a railing here and we want to add doors so let's do that let's select door from here and i'm going to place one here and for the curtain wall we can uh, load a new one let's go to insert load family go to doors folder here and i'm going to select this one so i think we should move this mullion below this floor so let's go back to south elevation and tap select this mullion and let's move it one foot now let's replace this panel tap select this panel and let's select this curtain wall door and i'm going to change the uh, detail level to fine so we can see these handles and let's tap select this mullion and delete perfect so we have added the doors as well now we need to create a glass railing here and we need to add a door here as well so first let's create a railing go back to level 2 and select railing use pick lines and i'm going to give 6 inches offset and pick the edges of this floor let's click finish and let's change this railing type select the railing and i'm going to use this one there we go record this glass railing here let's go back to level 2 again and i'm going to add a door here so let's select this wall and i'm going to select curtain wall and and create one here at two feet from the wall let's create five feet five feet curtain wall okay we get this error that highlighted walls overlap so we need to embed uh, this curtain wall so we can do that by selecting the curtain wall and just go to edit type and here we have automatically embed just check this click apply okay there we go now okay i'm just going to change the height of this curtain wall let's make it nine feet and then uh, we can replace this panel with a glass door so just tap select this panel and uh, just replace it with this curtain wall door there we go we need to add uh, mullions around it so we can select mullion and click all grid lines and just make sure we are using the correct uh, mullion type and just pick the curtain grid there we go let's remove this bottom mullion by by selecting it and delete so this cool looking modern cabin is ready we only need to add slanted columns here so for that we can go back to level one and i'm going to uh, go to structure and select column make sure you are using a structural column otherwise uh, you won't get this slanted column option so let's select slanted column and i think uh, we need to load a round column so let's click load family go back and look for structural columns and here we have it structural columns just open this up and here i'm going to use a concrete and here we have this concrete round column let's load this into our project and here make sure first click is set to level one and remove the offset should be zero okay First, we want to change the second 
click to level two then we can make this zero and let's create a column from here at 12 feet 6 inches there we go let's mirror it to the other side and if i go to 3d you see we got our columns here now i'm just going to select both of these and change the type let's click duplicate and i'm going to create a new six inch column let's put that here six inches click ok there we go it's looking a lot better now with these two selected we can just change the top offset the thickness of this floor is one foot so i'm going to put the same here minus one foot from the top there we go but if i zoom in here you see columns aren't perfectly uh, attached uh, to this floor so to fix it we can select both of these columns and we get these options we want to change top cut style to horizontal there we go for the bottom as well we can change the bottom cut style to horizontal perfect so that's how to create this cool looking modern cabin in revit so that's it for this video i hope you have learned something new so please make sure to like and share this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already don't forget to turn on the post notifications and don't forget to check out my advanced 3d modeling courses on learnrevitonline.com and if you found this video beneficial consider supporting my work on patreon to help me create new videos every week and yeah i will see you guys in the next video